the genesis of signs and wonders is actually the root of the supernatural we cannot speak about signs and wonders without understanding the need for the supernatural the life of a believer upon the face of the earth is actually a supernatural life there is nothing natural about a believer the natural life is a threat to an average believer the natural life is a life that is subject to all kinds of death and decadence and any believer that functions from the strength of a natural life does not have the ability to live tomorrow the reason why men sleep and cannot wake up is not anything oftentimes it's because there was a warfare beyond them that superimposed them and for you to be able to sleep and wake up the next day is not because you are too strong in yourself but it's because you understand the supernatural life and the reason why you understand the supernatural life is because you have subscribed to a life in the spirit and the next question you are going to ask me is that why is it that spiritual men still die it's a complicated issue because i have to take you back to the agency of concentration that there are things that god speak unto men he say in the day you do this that day you will die because anyone that you see that died as a spiritual man has forsaken the pathway because whatsoever that has given you privilege to be able to live and cause the devil cause havoc in the kingdom of darkness and you have survived for so long is because there was an agency upon your life it was never given to a spiritual man to be taken by the devil no the happening of death salute spiritual men because the government upon which they subscribe to is not what he is a lot over the bible says, i have said before you life and death but you must have to be able to choose and until you make a decision and you make a choice and you abide by that choice the devil will have a stronghold over your life so the strength of a believer is the supernatural life that he has chosen god being super and him being natural the superimposition of that which god is together with the infirmity of mankind grant man advantage upon the face of the earth man is not designed to be super spiritual man is designed to be, to be supernatural but you must be able to understand that supernatural is not a natural life neither is it a super spiritual life it is actually a life upon the face of the earth above the dominant influence of darkness and this is a life that was embedded upon the dominant influence of god that said let us make man that they may have dominion because man cannot have dominion until they have the element of god upon their lives and what introduced that element of god upon the life of a man is actually the life of god and the strength upon which man function is the zoe life and that zoe life grant man an advantage never to be under bondage at any time and that's what the bible speaking said the lord is that spirit and wherever the spirit of the lord is there is liberty and we all with an open face we behold like in a mirror in a glass and as we behold we are being transformed daily and but eventually you come to a point where you are hindered by a being by a personality it's because you have not subscribed to life enough or you have gone again concentration spoken unto you that in the day you eat of this you surely die anytime god commit himself to a man there are laws and orders and protocol that he give to that man to be able to keep into if he must be committed to that man the same way when you are in love with someone there are things that you people discuss but eventually you come to a point where the person does not keep to the terms you know it's very natural for the love to break or what you call it relationship to break in the same way that we must be able to understand we are in the love affair with the lord and anytime we don't keep on to the, our own side of the bargain certainly certain things begin to happen not because god is wicked not because you are wicked it's just because you have lost that consecration and that is why you must be able to understand that you cannot receive anything according to the talking of the supernatural until you understand the demand of the lord upon your life many people cry every day father why is my life like this and oftentimes god is asking what was the last time you obey me the things i have spoken unto you what was the last time you do it so you now realize that we have given the devil edge over our life because of our disobedience so you must be able to understand that one of the strongest reasons why we cannot partake of the supernatural life is simply because of our disobedience and if we must be restored back into that life that is above mortality we must be able to understand the need for us to keep onto the laws of god and remain concentrated in keeping to the order of god an average believer has never never come to a point where he remains uncompromising in keeping to the standard of christianity an average believer find it very hard to obey the ten commandments talk more of the personal instruction that god gave unto him and this is the reason why god look upon a thousand of us and is still looking for men because for god to be able to work with you he must be sure that before he commit himself to you he can trust you and if he cannot trust you it's because you are wavering you are not consistent in keeping to your stand point of righteousness and everyone that god work with over time is someone that has been consistent with god again and again without compromising 
That's what the Bible is speaking. He said that the Lord is walking with them and is confirming his word with them with signs following. It then means that until they obey the word of the Lord, what was spoken by the Lord, he does not have any regard in keeping to their life. Until they are faithful in doing what he has commanded, I assure you, I assure you, he will never see a need for him to do anything in keeping to their life. Oftentimes, we must come to that point where we are consistent in our obedience. Because the miracle we are looking for is at the mercy of an instruction that God will give you. Anytime God speaks, nobody can stop it. If God speaks in keeping to your life, there is nobody that can stop it. You see, men may not like you, I assure you, but ensure that the word of the Lord is with you. When the word of the Lord is with you, you will prosper beyond the wish of men. And there is nothing they can do about it. And you see, men takes time to clap. But they will, because a time will come, they will be forced to clap. And they will give you what I call the right heart of fellowship. It will take time. But you see, if you are not consistent obeying, or being obedient to the things that God has spoken unto you, there will be no miracle in keeping to your life. The Lord told me many years ago, he said, beyond looking for a miracle, become the miracle, become the sign, become the wonder. Do you know you can become a miracle? You can become the sign, you can become the wonder. And that is the goal, I believe. That anytime the Lord steps on into the life of a man and he upgrades the person, is because he's looking beyond the person. When the Lord comes and heals you of an infirmity, the same grace, the same anointing, the same ointment that came to heal you is actually tabernacle in you so that you can be able to heal others. That is why everyone that has become a sign and a wonder is actually someone that has come out from a magic clay. That anytime the Lord delivers you from a magic clay, he makes you to become a wonder unto your generation. No wonder the Lord do the sign, we do the wonder. So you call it signs and wonders. Wonders is not what God do. God has never wondered before. It's mankind that wonder. God does signs, mankind wonder. The genesis of signs and wonders come from the Lord doing so many signs. And a sign points to something. Anytime you see the Lord doing something, it's because he's trying to point you to something. Trying to point you to a supernatural life. That there is something this one has captured. There is an allegiance. There is a kind of alignment that this one has. And because of that alignment, a sign follow him. Let men do the wonder.